Hi everybody, this is Patrick Altmeyer. I'm going to show you how to install an all-in-one printer through a network in Ubuntu 12.10. I have the 64-bit version installed of Ubuntu, so sometimes the scanner works, sometimes it doesn't. If you use the 32-bit version of Ubuntu, the scanner will always work. So first thing you need to do is open up your web browser. And since I'm installing a Hewlett Packard, I'm going to go to hp.com. If you have a brother, go to brother.com, epson.com, etc. Okay, always go to your support and driver section. Hit drivers and software. Mine is the OfficeJet Pro L7555. It's going to select my operating system. I'm going to select Linux. Hit next. Okay, I want the driver installation and software. HP driver support for Linux, that's what I want. You see that's just a repeat, no different. Okay, it's going to take me to the uh, Linux page. Just keep clicking that. Doesn't matter which page you go to, it's going to be the same process. Okay, now you want to download the HPLIP. That's the HP HPLIP, as you see right here. HP Linux Imaging and Print. Okay, we're going to select our distribution. We are Ubuntu. And our version is 12.10. The printer type is going to be um, all in one, so where's the all in one at? Mine's the Office Jet Pro right here. And the printer model, well, you gotta go down, it'd be the Office Jet Pro L7555. Here it is right here, and you hit next. Okay, Ubuntu 12.10, and it does support your printer, blah, 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 blah. So we just hit next. Hit next again. And now we're going to follow these on-screen instructions it gives you. First thing you need to do is download the uh, program. It takes you to sourceforge.net. Okay, I'm going to save it, and as you see, it's going to be in my downloads directory. Okay, once it's downloaded, what you want to do is you want to hit the backup button because we've got to follow these instructions here. See all the instructions here, we're going to do it step for step. Now this one says change directory to desktop. Since I have not, I'm going to change my directory to downloads. Move this out of the way so I could see. Put it over here on the right. Change directory, download. Okay, now in the downloads directory. Now we're going to type sh and then the name of the uh, file we just downloaded. Before I do anything else, I'm going to show you the folder where I downloaded it. See how it's named the same way? hplib-3.12.11.run just in case you watch this video later on, like in a year or two from now when this one changes, you're just going to type in this name here. If it's 4.56.18, well then it'll be 4.56.18. It's that simple. Okay, I'll close my folder and I'm going to hit enter. Let it do its thing. Choose the installation mode. You want automatic. Is Ubuntu 12.10 your correct distro? Yes, it is. Enter the password. This is the pseudo password. It's the same one you use when you install Linux. Please read the installation notes. Press enter to continue. Okay, now it's going through its installation process. All we can do now is wait until we get to the next step. It's going to ask you a few questions. As you see on this uh, screen right here, half this stuff is just automatic. It's going to go through. It's not going to stop again until we get to this part right here.
So we'll open back up the terminal to see where we're at. Okay, this will take a few minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit pause and resume when we get to the next step. Okay, we're uh, as you see, we stopped on the next stop. It says HLF 3.12.5 exists. They make uh, conflict with the new one being installed. That's because I tried to install it using the printer setting, but my printer wouldn't work. So I'm trying, I'm trying to go through the website and using their uh, default software. So what we're going to do is we're going to use I and hit remove and install. That should give it a clean start. And this is going to take a couple of minutes again to get going. I want to hit pause until we get to the next step because all it is is going to start the uninstallation process and then the installation process all over again. Welcome back everybody. As you can see right here it says build complete. Do you want to check HLIF for updates? We'll just hit yes. See if anything happens. All right. If you're installing a USB, we're not. We're installing a network printer, so we're going to hit ignore to continue. Because if it says if you're using a network or wireless, you can ignore and continue. I for ignore. Okay, it's a universal serial bus. No, it's a network wireless printer. It's a network Ethernet or wireless network. So the application step by has stopped unexpectedly. If you notice further problems, try restarting the computer. Send an error report to help fix the problem. Continue. Let me try it again. All right, we're having problems here, and I have no idea why. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to show advanced options, search term, whatever. Manual discovery for the IP network. Oh, let's see if this works. I'm going to find out what the IP address of the printer is. Here, let me pause it real quick while I look it up. Okay, what I did is I uh, hit the net, found out the network printings on my printer, and the IP address of my printer is right here, so I'm going to hit next. It's the OfficeJet Pro. So if you get that error, just go ahead and find out. Um, go to your printer and have it type out your network settings, then I'll give you the correct um, IP address. So now you see we have both the uh, printer set up and the fax set up. They're both working. It even discovered my printer uh, phone number, my fax number, I should say. I want to send a test page to the printer. And I'll see if it prints. So we're going to go and add the printer right now. Okay, it is sending a printer, uh, it is printing a page. You always get this error. I don't know what it's about, but it has to do with your tray. And here it says we started a printing job, and it's printing just fine. Okay, now the next step is to see, we're going to close this out to see if the scanner worked. So again, we're going to go to scans, Simple scan or XHC image scanning program, they both work. Let's try this one. Scanning for devices. All right. I really uh, have no idea how to use this program here as of now. Auto color full page scan. Let me uh, use this little icon over here. Let's see if it works. Okay, according to my printer, it is scanned just fine, so let's try simple scan and see if that one works. I want to discard all images temporarily because it was just a test. Let's go to the dash home. 
type in scan again and try simple scan. All right, cross your fingers. All right, it's scanning again. We got it to work. So I suggest you use this right here. And I'm going to give you the web page that I initially came to. Because where you could find your uh, HLib printer. You can go install and set up, install wizard, supp supported printers. I'm going to click on that. And pretty much all you got to do is select your printer type and your printer model. This is still for HP. Uh, just for a quick rundown, let's see what happens if you had a brother printer. I don't know what the home page is, Brother USA. Let's go to support and see if the process is the same. Select a product group. We're going to go with. Um, Check writer, fax machines, garment printers, whatever that is. I have no idea. All-in-one multi-functions. That's what we want to go to. Let's just go with uh, the color inkjet, color laser jet. This is the one I want to buy, so let's just go with this one here. Okay, product demo, but this is not what we want. We want support, and we want the drivers. Okay, uh, downloads under support. Multifunction select your model. Uh, let's just say I had this one with a CN because it's a network. Manuals, product, support center, product registration. Let's hit view. Downloads on our solution center. Windows 7 driver information, Windows 8 driver information. Check firmware, driver compatibility. Okay, Mac OX it has. For brother, I don't see them list Linux anywhere. Oh, here it is. For Linux users, you click on the Linux driver right here. And now you want the printer driver. Oh, here they are. Brother actually has it on their website, so there's nothing you have to do there. You see now how to install an all-in-one printer in Linux, and you see my my um, OfficeJet Pro Hewlett Packard worked just fine. And if you had trouble, you saw how you have to manually find and enter the IP address. This is Patrick Altmeyer. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to my channel.